low density parity check codes or LDPC codes. LDPC codes are nothing but a block codes and the peculiarity of LDPC codes is its parity check matrix H will be sparse. Sparse means the parity check matrix will be consisting of a smaller lesser number of ones in rows as well as columns and this is the typical parity check matrix uh, H uh, for a LDPC and when you look at the row wise and column wise you can see that very less number of ones are there. So this is uh, a typical H matrix for a LDPC code and uh, there are two classifications for LDPC codes regular and irregular based on uh, the row weight and column weight and row weight and column weight are nothing but the number of ones in each and every uh, column is what you call the column weight and column of the H matrix is what you call the column weight and uh, the number of ones in each and every row of H matrix is what you call the row weight and if the row weight uh, is same for all the rows in the H matrix then uh, we say that uh, the H matrix, the given LDPC code is a regular LDPC code. Similarly, column weight should also be uh, same. And uh, if you look into this H matrix, you can uh, see that the first column is consisting of three number of ones. Second call, sorry, uh, first row consists of three number of ones. Second row, again three number of ones. Third row, three. Fourth row, also three number of ones. 5th and 6th. So, all the 6 rows of this H matrix consists of 3 number of 1. So, the row weight is same for all the rows and it is 3. Similarly, there are 9 columns in this H matrix and you can see that uh, the first column consists of 2 number of 1, second column 2, third column again 2, fourth column 2, fifth 2, 6, 7, 8, 9. All these columns are having two number of ones. So all the columns are having the same weight, which is two. And this is the typical H matrix, which is having a row weight three and column weight two. And so uh, this is a regular LDPC code. Row weight and column weight need not be same, but all the rows should have same weight, and all the columns should have same weight for qualifying it to be a regular LDPC code. We'll discuss that later. So, an important from the exam point of view, an important question is: you will be asked to draw the Tanner graph or bipartite graph for an LDPC code whose H matrix is given. So, let's let's uh, discuss this Tanner graph uh, for this uh, given H matrix. And when you think about graph, uh, it has at least a graph should have at least two sets of uh, nodes and here this is a typical uh, channel graph corresponding to this H matrix and when you know that this H matrix parity check matrix in general for the block codes as well uh, is of size n minus k by n so n is nothing but the code word number of uh, code word bits or the number of bits in the code word and Number of columns in the H matrix is n minus k. So there are n minus k parity uh, bits. So the number of rows is uh, n minus k parity check bits, and the number of columns are nothing but the code word bits. And these two sets will form two sets of nodes in the graphical representation. And you can see in the graph, left side. Sets of nodes are not, uh, V1 to V9 are nothing but the number of columns in the H matrix which corresponds to the again code word bits. And when you look at the right side of the graph, you can see C1 to C6, which are nothing but the parity check bits or the number of rows inside the H matrix. And you can form the equations with the equations relating your parity check bits and the code word bits by looking at the H matrix. Like, look at the first row. 
first row is nothing but uh, corresponds to parity check bit. Let me represent the parity check bits as um, C12, C6, and the code word bits as C12, C9. Okay, so C1 first row, you will be getting the uh, parity check bit one equation that is C1 is equal to V1 plus V2, V3, V4 are not there, V5 plus V6, V7, V8, 0. So it's not, it won't be there. Again, V9. So V C1 is starting with V1 plus V5 plus V9. So C1 here you can see same. So when where, wherever there are ones in the rows, that particular code bit will be present in this parity check bit equation. Similarly, second parity check bit is formed by the second row. This is similar to your syndrome computation like code word into H transpose. So C2 is equal to V2 plus V3, V4, V5, V6 not there. V7 plus V8. C2, V2 plus V7 plus V8. Similarly, you can form all these uh, parity check bit equations from each and every row of H matrix. And once you got this parity check bit equation relating your code word bit, simply you can uh, draw the standard graph of the corresponding LDPC code by making use of this equation. So, as uh, told earlier, the left nodes are nothing but your code word bits, which we call as variable nodes. Remember the word is variable node, which corresponds to code word bits. And the right position are the in minus k parity check bits, which we call as the check nodes. Okay, so from the first equation, you can uh, form the connections towards C1. So, V connection will be there, there from V1, V5 and V9. Since the equation is C1 is equal to V1 plus V5 plus V9. So, from V1, draw a line towards C1. Again, from V5, draw a line towards C1. From V9, draw a line towards C1. So, that completes the connection towards v, C1. Similarly, C2 connections you can make from the equation C2 is equal to V2, V7, V8. So you have to uh, draw a line from V2, V7 and V8 towards C2. Similarly, C3 connections can be made from the third equation C3, V2, V3, V5. So draw lines from V2, V3 and V5 towards C3. So in this manner, you can complete the whole graph C5 and C4, C5 and C6. This is the Tanner graph. And this is an important question. Um, and we asked to draw the Tanner graph corresponding to the given uh, LDPC code H matrix or parity check matrix. Okay. Now, these are um, some other parameters which are important for an LDPC code, which is the degree of variable node and degree of uh, check node, which is nothing but earlier we have discussed the column weight and row weight. Degree of variable node is nothing but the column weight itself because how many degree of variable nodes means uh, how many connections are there from each and every variable node and that can be determined by the column weight because this first column is nothing but corresponding to V1, second column V2, third column V3 like that. So, how many ones are there in the first column will be deciding the degree of V1 or equivalently the connections made from V1. From all these equations, you can see there is a connection from C V1 to C1 and V1 to C5. So, obviously, the number of uh, degree of this uh, variable node V1 will be 2. Similarly, V2, by looking at the second column, you can see that. V2 is the number, V2 degree is 2 because there are two connections from V2. From the graph also, you can see two connections. V3, V4, all these variable nodes are having two connections because the column weight is 2 for this H matrix. So, remember, degree of variable node is nothing but column weight. And similarly, degree of check node is nothing but row weight because degree from the graph, 
you can define the degree as the number of connections towards the set node. So from C1 you can see there are three connections. So degree of set node C1 is 3. Since this is a typical uh, regular LDPCH matrix, all the set nodes will be having the same degree or row weight and all the variable nodes will be having the same uh, degree or equivalently the column weight will be same. Okay. Usually LDPC codes are denoted by the representation n comma degree of variable node comma degree of set node. That is why we have discussed about what is degree and uh, degree of variable node and set node. Or you can see n comma rho weight comma degree of variable node is uh, nothing but not sorry column weight. So n comma column weight comma rho weight. So this typical H matrix can be represented as n is the number of columns is 9. So n comma since the column weight is 2, degree of variable node is 2, so 2 comma 3. And this is a, a regular LDPC code since the degree of variable node uh, is same for all the variable nodes and degree of column, uh, sorry, uh, check node is same for all the check nodes. This is the same thing and the degree of variable nodes and check nodes need not be constant for an irregular LDPC code. So irregular LDPC uh, code means uh, all the rows will not be having same weight uh, or all the check nodes will have different degree. And similarly all the column weights need not be same. Similar, so the degree of variable nodes may vary from one variable node to another. So that is an irregular LDPC code. 